Alright, we've got Colorful going up against Lin. It's really nice actually, I don't have to switch uh, the names at the top. They actually spawn on the side that I put them. Is it weird that blue is like a very lively blue right there from Lin? I love how people have perfected the Sim City by the way. Like, like the barracks gonna go down there and then it's really hard to access the back of the base. Like that's how you can tell some of these guys really have started to apply themselves and like if you don't do that, like you're gonna fall behind in a lot of these games. So yeah, intros, I feel, might not necessarily be needed, but if you guys uh, didn't notice the scoreboard at the top, we've got Lin in the top right hand side here playing as the blue orc and his opponent. It's colorful in the bottom left. Craft ball actually looks very decent. I would say maybe I, sh I should move it a little bit so that it covers the entire menu at the top and reduce the size a little bit. I shouldn't overthink it anyway. And we've got a demon hunter here. It's going to be made from Colorful, and on the other side is going to be the Blade Master. Hopefully everything is running smooth on the stream. I'm going to open it real quick on my phone just to make sure. My stream does end up starting after the 3 minutes delay. Uh... Actually, I can't open it right now. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't count as, as if it were live, does it? Yeah, because there's the 3 minutes delay. I don't know if the best way to observe is this, me joining games that are live, or joining the replay feature thing. If the replays are always open, or like the observing thing through netties, maybe I could just use that instead. Anyway, for now, we're just gonna try the system. I like being in the game. But if it's totally uh, identical, then... Oh my god, that blue is... That blue is really sick. I don't think I've ever seen that color in game like this. Like, this is not like the typical blue, I think. What are we gonna get? Nothing? No. Circlet on the way out. Demon Hunter got a class. That Ancient of Ours taking a beating. A player's Any Wait, Ancient of Wonders? What? Why? Oh my god! Nope, not on my watch. Okay, Lin gets it. It's a regeneration potion. Wait, what the f- Oh, he used it and he wanted to use Windwalk right after, but Colorful anticipated that so well that he actually just mana burned before. That's so sick. Really nicely done. Otherwise, Lin would have had to Windwalk first, and but then he would have had to use the potion. Eh. Damn, that was really nicely done. I don't know about this shop, though. A player's force that was extremely attack. strange right there. We're just gonna detonate here on this side. And the runter is still looking to try and creep. Run gonna get a snare. That's a really nice spot to do. Especially when he knows that there was so little mana on the Blade Master. Even with the detonate now, he knows there's not gonna be a wind walk to come and steal this. If that grunt gets a snare yeah, next to two archers and demon, it's gonna die a hundred percent. So you gotta be careful. Does he go for this? Oh my god. Lane is seeing it, but he's on his side of the map creeping. So it looks like Colorful is going to be able to get that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nobody has had a bad item yet. These guys play a different game than I do. Like, where, where are all those lot of rings? Seriously. I should get a... I should get a lot of circlet, maybe. I, I guess, like, the circlet, not as iconic as a lot of ring. Maybe lot of crystal ball. I need to raise that sub count. Get some new sick emotes, maybe somewhere in there. So I don't know if the stream's back up yet. Yeah, this three minutes delay thing. Okay, it's up from what I can see. Where are you going? A player's forces are under attack. He's got a dust actually. Both players kind of chasing each other's units. Some nice blocks. He's gonna have to switch the archer maybe. I always butcher these when I try to block like this. He should have hit once maybe, but I mean, he still has some salve. That's one angry blade right there. And we've got the totem, torrent chieftain going down on the other side in the meantime. Bestiary as well. They're very safe buildings for the most part. And on this side, what is it going to be? 
And Shinto Fuin and Quick Tier 3. That bit needs to be careful. I guess he's got a speed scroll, so he probably feels like he cannot die and he might be right, but he's taking a lot of damage. What second hero do you go for? Yeah, I think he wanted to hire a neutral hero. Actually, doesn't quite have the gold yet. Double Ancient of Wind. What is it gonna be, my dude? Naga! For the longest time, it, when you went talents like this, people were always getting um, Beastmaster second, and then they would go for uh, Tinker third for Pocket Factory with talents. Is he gonna start creeping? What does he go for? Finance Nail Archer? Why not? I mean, he's got dust anyway. So Colorful is the one that uses dust. I mean, there's a Speed Squall, so... I think that's why he went Naga, maybe. He wanted to make sure that he could creep like this against Blade. Greater healing, not bad. He might force the Speed Squall. Oh my god. So on Shift 10 doing some pretty nice creeping. And we're gonna have the... Spirit Walker and Raider production beginning. Spots the Ancient of War. Where is he going? Actually, I'm really surprised he didn't go for this, because that's like the safe creep. But it, I think he put the Blade Master low on hit points, so he probably knows that Lin cannot engage for a while, so he's like, well, I'll use that by going there and creeping this camp. I like, I somewhat like the adjustments, I think. He's carrying a bunch of hills on this one. Clothes of Hay is going to be sick on Blade as well. And he's going to go for the Creep Jack. He knows that this is going to do a ton of damage to the units. How does he handle this? Shockwave going to be used. Demons already quite low. And some archers are gonna start on taking a ton of damage. He uses the speed scroll to make sure he can chase. Still has another one on the Blade Master. Oh, Ancient of Wonder was to get the extra wisp. That's right. It's like a Zerg extractor trick. First Talon is gonna get chased down a little bit. Ancient of Wonder is now going down for real this time when he started the map. Some really sick item here uh, for Colorful, by the way. And level 3 TC, that was fast, wow. Going for a little bit of block here. Moon wells are very important to kind of save up because it was just sunrise here and daylight finally came. That retreat has been quite dangerous, like demon scanner on his own. This has, yeah, he has a snare already. This is very old school, this game so far. I think other than for the Naga, which again used to be a Beastmaster once upon a time here every time uh, in Org versus Night Elf. Druid of the Talon Master now being researched. Halfway through done. What do you do here? If you're Lin, I feel like, yeah, you should be content with being out on the map and creeping. What does he get? Two healing scrolls, wow. You know what I think? Like, it's very tempting for him to engage here, but he's gonna engage. Oh my god, that was a sick dodge. He's gonna engage inside of the army. Oh, that was not a good shockwave. Yeah, he can't. He can't fight here. I think he's just supposed to run away. He has no no mana either. You know, I realized that more than ever, like I would say fairly recently, but when you're expanding like this, even if your expo is not already up, like if, if it's looking good for it to complete, and you have like less than 50 supply and double healing scroll. There is very li little value in fighting the opponents. When I played against X Lord at the Iron Couch and I had Expo on tier 2 and then I bought 2 healing scroll and I was staying on 50 supply saving gold, I went here and I tried to fight him. And I used both of my link scrolls and still lost most of my army. I think that was so stupid by me. If I had just gone here, crept, gone here, crept, he can creep as much as he wants, I don't care. I would get to 80 supply and be in a fantastic position. So I feel like maybe it's not as clear cut here for Lin because he had like a very strong timing and could hit here. But, I think for sure he shouldn't be that excited about fighting. But I guess maybe he would be content with fighting here in the open, just not inside you know, of the main base of Colorful. Like right now, Lin 100% knows that Colorful's here. But yeah, I really think that when you have 50 supply, if you have to use double healing scroll, the value that you get out of them is not nearly as good as if you had, you know, even 60. Like every bump in supply, you know, 60, 70, 80, they make these so much more impactful. But he's still gonna stay on the map. That Blade Master is stuffed, by the way. Holy moly. Only plus 7 damage, but the agility is gonna be insane. So he's gonna go for the Expo. 
And I love that Lin doesn't wait, he breaks upkeep. He brings peons as well for Spirit Link, very important here. Not quite full mana on the TC here, he needs to make sure he lands at least one big shockwave, because if he gets burnt before, that would be extremely bad. Is some of these talents actually scarily low? Interestingly, we don't have any staff. I guess, like, Colorful's been somewhat broke. He's got an egg. He might be content with just going in, mana burning a bunch. And maybe yeah, taking a ton of damage, because, like, that guy has, like, three lives. Oh, that's, that was a sick clutch. If he can mana burn? If he can mana burn, there's not going to be a single shockwave. Okay, he doesn't mana burn on time. Does he use the greater healing first, or does he let the ank pop? 80 mana on the TC. He's just going to wait. 82, now finally goes for the burn. Oh my god, all of these units getting hit by a uh, fairy fire. Lin kind of falls back for now. He's, he's still got a little bit of mana to work with on his walkers, but I mean, it's a tricky spot. Naga, what are you doing here? He's got a greater invuln, so... He needs to pop that, maybe? Mate? Mate? He waits kind of until the last second, Demon Hunter. It's so discouraging to see a Demon Hunter with greater healing plus Ank of Reincarnation like this. And I think actually... Okay. He needs to mana burn these walkers here. There's almost no more mana on them. Like then Cyclone who just kind of reign supreme. You just Cyclone the heroes. He's actually Cyclone some Raider. All I like those talents are kind of running out of mana. But the Demon Hunter is still going Berserk. Tinker almost has a pocket factory here ready to drop down. He transferred the TP? No, he's still there. He's gonna have to TP. TP's at the last second. And just like that, Colorful. Traded for as long as he could, but eventually he's forced to TP out. What does Lin do? I guess he has to go here and use clarities. Make sure... Oh, he steals the scroll. This is amazing. Is there still one more? No. Oh, this is very important because now there is no healing scroll at all. From Colorful. He has to go there and get the other one. Lin? Does he want a contest? He knows that's going to be happening. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's looking to try and catch this demon. He's gonna force the invuln, and it's there! Oh, that's so sick, and he can chase now! Demon's gonna die! That invuln's not gonna last a very long time, he gets to surround- Oh my god, he has to come help it. Yeah, okay. Colorful realizes, a big mana burn happened in the meantime. But Demon's gonna die here, and he left the, just the pocket factory behind here. We got 81, but now Demon comes back with enough mana for a bunch of mana burns, he might just wait a little bit more. If that TC gets a level now, oh my god, he's gonna have a shockwave! 105! Can he land it? Demon Hunter taking a ton of damage, looks like he's gonna go down. There's no survivability item here from Colorful. And there is a shockwave! Oh my god, the dream shockwave. Show me that shockwave. And he's gonna have to instant rebuy here. Whoever loses a hero has to instant rebuy. They're in the center, dream shockwave lands in all of the talents. Lin is somewhat being pushed back right now, that Blade Master kind of still on steroids. Demon Hunter being instant rebuilt means it's not going to have any mana for any mana burn. And Colorful is going to get chased here. I mean, he's not even trying to run. He knows that he would lose everything anyway. Pocket Factory is going to get dropped down. A lot of these walkers are very low already. It's going to be for the Demon and the Orb to do a ton of damage. Spirit Walker going low. Transform into Ethereal Form. All outs of talents here is Colorful using one last Fuck You Cyclone before trying to deal some more damage to the Spirit Walkers. One of those escapes on one hit points. And I think Lin might have done it. Four and a half on the Torrent Chieftain. Naga goes down. Tinker is gonna go down. And he just taps out. GG.